I'm Chris. And I'm Kat. And I'm Luna. And, and together, together we, we are, are doing Joshua Tree. Tree. freaking scorpion in my backpack. <gasps> no! Why did you, did you know? Oh, uh, right outside? A freaking spider crawled out of it too, but I didn't think it was going to be. Oh, living for all I've never even seen one in the rear. Oh, he's a little guy. I oh crap, where'd he go? Him. I see him, he's on the corner over there. Oh, there he is. Yep. Oh, oh my god, he's not that that small. Oh, what the hell is that? That is not a scorpion. What that is, is that? That is not a scorpion. That? What the hell is that? Is that a spider? It's oh, the god. weirdest it's ant I've ever seen in my life. That's not an ant. It's That's gotta something. be. Uh, Weird. It's okay. Have a nice day. Jesus. Looks like one of those bugs in a... Uh, that is Here. so cool looking. Yes. So glad it's not a scorpion, though. Ew, what the hell is it? Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. I'm sure. There it is. There it is. What are you? Now, okay, but now we don't know where it is and it could be in our mouths. At it's any under time. our tire. I know, but then it could go anywhere. In our okay. mouths. Okay. Could happen. Okay, so everybody be careful. Okay. Uh, just reaching into your bag. I mean, agreed. And also, could that thing even have hurt us? I guarantee you it looked dangerous. Like, scary. like, my, it didn't, but it wasn't a scorpion. My instinct made me jump back from it, <laughs> so it must be that. So, Lucifer, like, do you have the same instinct? Us. No, okay. All right, so today we are actually going to go into Joshua Tree and explore with the kid. Yesterday we went and got our pass and you know, did some window exploring outside of the window of, of the truck yesterday. But today we're gonna actually go in and check things out. Uh, it's really warm today. And as always, it's, let's see, 10.30. And it, this is about the earliest we could get out of our house, AKA RV. Uh, I have been up since seven. I did just finish my makeup, but I knew I was doing that in the car. None of this counts. But anyway, yeah, 10.30, so it's gonna be freaking hot today. Very much like what we were traveling through yesterday, we're walking through and on our walk. Like, this is where all the water comes down in a desert when there is torrential rains. It says you do not want to be standing here when it happens. And oh my God, like we are really in the middle of that. So luckily there's not a cloud in the sky. So if it rains. Oh. Don't go there. Yeah, go here. Too late. Go here. Oh, oh my God, the smoke tree specifically, which do you see over there? It looks like smoke puffs. It depends on those flash floods in order to germinate the seed. So if that didn't happen, these smoke trees would not exist. So that's why they are specifically in this area. Always read the plaque. Go to Mars. Hashtag from Mars. Okay, the first Joshua tree we have to pull. Yeah. Maybe there are not Joshua trees in the mud pits. Maybe they, Maybe like they Josh. don't like those flash floods. Maybe they go like Josh and that's why they're not here. Yeah, you know, or maybe like somebody formed an anti-Josh campaign out there and like was those damn smoke trees. Or maybe Joshua is allergic to smoke. smoke? Yeah, and the goddamn smoke trees are always out here. Flash, flood. I don't think the trees are flash flooding, baby. Oh yeah, no, it's no, the damn trees. They're just getting their germination on. They're getting their germination on. Yeah, germination. Uh, you know, the last time I heard about somebody getting their germination on, 
bunch of Jews got killed. I'm just saying. Super. No. We have a German audience as well. No. No. <laughs> Okay, we've got a choice. Black we've either got or... Block Eagle or Old Dale. Block Eagle or Old Dale. Old Dale, um, Old Dale and Black Eagle, Eagle Mine Black Roads. Eagle. Black, Black Eagle, Eagle it is? Sounds like a white trash. Dale? Is it Dale? Four-wheel drive. Road not maintained. Okay, so let me put it on four-wheel drive mode. Let me get to a flat spot so I can do that. Four-wheel drive. I'm going to go take my front wheel locks off. This is going to be fun. We got to get down here. Did we do that? Then we get down here. And then we do that. Oh yeah, we're ready to go now. Okay, so although we love taking the road less traveled, and we just built our first Karen, and by we I mean my husband, uh, we decided to U-turn because the four-wheel drive necessity also kind of goes like this. And I'm not into that, so we're turning around. We're gonna go look for other beautiful things, such as Skull Rock. Skull Rock. Skull Rock. And Joshua Trees. And Joshua Trees. We still haven't seen one yet. Goals. A field of, we think, cacti. Jumping cacti. Well, I don't know why he thinks jumping cacti. I think he's messing with me. But uh, apparently there's a trail over here as well. I don't think that's what we're stopping for, though. We're trying to find Skull Rock, which sounds like something from the Goonies. So we'll see, I suppose. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I want to go. Yeah, absolutely. But that's oh, our Joshua way back. Trees. Joshua Trees. Where? Where is it? There it is. Awesome. We can get over there, right? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Hold on. We had to drive for a while to get here, but we finally found, wait, for a while in Joshua Tree, by the way. It's not like we had to drive from somewhere farther away. No, we entered Joshua Tree National Park and then we drove for a very long time and then you'll see behind me, we finally encountered the Joshua Tree. So, this is where we're going to take a picture, make it all official, like this is the beginning of our trip, national park trips, at least, because there'll be several of those. Yeah, that's what, we have. that's what we're doing. It's really a tree. It's got a trunk and everything. It goes right into the sand. Oh, that's cool. The actual feel of it. I love it. Hey guys, Joshua Tree. That's really cool. Yeah. I feel like you too right now. <laughs> I feel like Jim Morrison. Where's the peyote? Places like this that uh, stimulate my imagination. I look at the rocks behind me and I think like, who lived there? Could I live there? I can make a little kitchen. There's probably a cave area in which I can make a little kitchen. That would be my bedroom. I often also try to make homes out of wherever I go. 
which makes sense with the whole RV thing. But uh, yeah, my imagination is peaked. Right now, I am basically between two deserts. The Basin Desert, that way, and the Colorado Desert, which we're going towards behind me. And uh, Colorado Desert's the one with the Joshua trees. So that's the way we're going. We got everything we need right here. Wine and burning chemistry. You and me alone. You and me alone. So something I didn't really expect per se about Joshua Tree, and I wonder if this is gonna be true of a lot of the national parks, is that uh, you're not allowed to bring your dogs on any of the trails. And Lucifer goes everywhere with us. So, so far it's been a little bit like a safari. We stay in the car and we drive past the gorgeous awesomeness. That being said, clearly, I have managed to get out of the said car. And we've explored a little bit, but um, not just a little bit, we've explored a lot of it. However, I am disappointed. We can't, we, we can't go on a particular trail to a particular view with our dog here. Again, I'm not sure if that's gonna be true in all the national parks. We are considering a doggy viewer. So, if anyone makes those and wants us to sponsor them, they're fun. I'm gonna keep climbing the rocks while my husband flies a drone. climbing to mountains. That over here, that over here, right there. That's Luna because she's tired and lumpy because he's not allowed to go places. And that's my husband down there trying to figure out how to get to me. Oh my god, it's so impressive. This is an actual campground inside of Joshua Tree. Looks like they does allow dogs on leashes. I just saw a sign that allowed that. But most importantly, you're chilling with the Joshua Trees and this. I just want to be near it. So we're going to get out and go figure out how I can get next to it. Oh look, an RV. What you doing down there, baby? I'm shaking the Joshua Tree's hand. I assume that's why it's I mean, it's just extending, I, I just figured. You gonna come up here? Yeah. Ready? 
So there's that bridge over here. Oh, there's moss shade this way. One might think you've seen one Joshua tree, you've seen them all. However, they're all very different. And I've decided they all have emotional characteristics. Uh, some of them are depressed. Some of them are not all there. Uh, some of them are, are, are strong. And one of them shook my hand. So yeah, I'm digging the Joshua trees. What do you think, Luna? Uh, I think they're really cool. I think they feel nice. Oh yeah, they're kind of, not furry, but like they have a texture. They have feet but like a duck, it, but they're furry. They do not have feet like a duck. They're yeah, a liar and a thief. It feet reminds like me of a, a truffle tree or something from Dr. Seuss. Oh my god. Duh. I'm sure we're not the first people to say these are like Dr. Seuss, but these are like Dr. Seuss. Yeah. My husband is very determined to find this skull rock, as he says. I hate having to find one specific thing, because then you miss all the other things. And you spend all your time driving back and forth. Yeah, that's right. We just had to drive back and forth. I said nay. This kid outvoted me and said, oh, what? We don't have a final destination. It's fun. But no. And now we're stuck stopping at every side area to see if there's a skull rock. No. None. Who cares? Just squint your eyes at any rock. It's skull rock. All right. Is uh, what back there, Split Rock in Live Oak? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, that means we go a little bit further and we will be at the uh, School Rock. Hey. So, you know, this better like change my life after all this. Jesus! Ah, what are you doing to me? Changing your life. No. It's amazing. We have found it. Skull Rock. Or at least that's what one of the little tiny Skull signs rock. said. And this place so far has more cars around it than any other place, by which I mean more than one. Uh, so... I see it. Look. It's right there. See the two oh, eyes? I do see it. You wanna see? Dog and boom. Let's go 
go get mommy now. Place mommy and palm. Palm mommy. Palm mommy. Hey, sorry, did I hit your knee on the way? Hey, 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 hey. Luna, can you come up? Hey, hey. There. Yeah. Let's go. This is how my husband hurt his back again for insurance claims. Haha, uh -huh, we don't have insurance. Oh, my earrings. <sighs> Insurance. You see what happened? That was a compression of a disc. <laughs> right now, I'm right next to here, which is right here. It's amazing up here. Very, very high up there. Obviously, there's still a little way to go. Get my climb on. There's a bunch of amazing sights that way. Pretty sure. Cat. Hey, baby! Wait to the camera! Yeah, who knows where they are? back up with the lumps. Now we are getting back down from the rocks. Thank you.